Hi, my name is Carl Jones. I'm senior lecturer here at the University of Westminster in Harrow, London. And my background, um, I'm an advertising professional. I come from an art director background. And I've worked in, uh, started my career in Canada at advertising agencies there. I did stuff for McDonald's and like Heineken and the city of Toronto. Then I moved to Mexico City and I worked for three agencies there, Gray, Young and Ruby Cam and BBDO. And I was vice president creative director and worked on uh, Visa, worked on Chrysler, worked on Bacardi, uh, Bayer, various clients. And I moved to London a few years ago to pursue research and academia. And I'm doing my PhD right now at the Royal College of Art. And I'm teaching here advertising and public relations at the University of Westminster. I think we are one of the few courses that teach PR and advertising together. We're the only one in London that does that. And um, it's because we see the blending of those two career paths. And we see PR agencies trying to pitch for advertising accounts. And we see advertising accounts pitching to do PR work. And we know that the two ways are coming together. So we're preparing our students for the future because we know that those areas are going together. You know, I didn't really decide to go into teaching. In my job as a creative director, I've always had younger staff that I've hired and had to guide them into what we do in advertising. So it's something that I've been doing anyway since I got into the business. And my favorite part, I think, is the aha moments. And what I mean by aha moments are like the moments when the person I'm talking to gets it and uh, then they start creating really effective communications and then go on to get really great jobs. That is really satisfying, I think. Well, it depends on what they consider to be successful. So, for example, a person in PR, you know, if they're very career focused, it could be based on the levels of the job, whether they're junior account person or senior account person or account manager. You know, other people would be looking at awards. Public relations is entering more award shows now, like the Cannes Festival, which is a really great PR category. And of course, the Cannes Festival is advertising. Uh, so I think awards are a measure. Um, I've used that a lot in measuring my success um, and also other people could look at success as the types of accounts they work on. So for example, if you're doing public relations for a celebrity of the royal family or you're doing advertising for a really cool brand like Google, um, you know, those could be measures of success as well. And all our students have access to those types of careers and jobs once they graduate. I think the course has taught me to relax. I think the course has taught me also how to speak to the new generations that are coming. Um, I think as you get older, you lose contact with the younger generations. I mean, in my business, I was working with them, but uh, I think teaching uh, gives me that ability and also I'm because we have so many students who are non-British I think uh, what this course has taught me also is how to communicate and present concepts in ways that people from different cultures and educational backgrounds and races can understand definitely I totally agree with that because uh, we teach our students to be ethical in their messaging. Um, one great thing about the University of Westminster is that our students learn the practice of creating messaging in PR and advertising, but also they understand the consequences on society. So for example, our students are not gonna be putting uh, women in roles as housewives, you know, or use stereotypes because they understand the effects that those types of messaging have on society. So uh, I think PR and advertising, uh, our students, will create ethical messaging and are the future of where messaging will go or is going.